The flow volume is varied in the boiler feed water supply circuit in order to meet changing energy needs. There are currently three ways of doing this in practice. Discharge throttling is similar to a garden hose with the flows reduced by gradually closing the nozzle. This increases the water pressure in the hose. While the pump speed remains constant, a throttle valve in the feed water circuit generates resistance in order to reduce the flow volume. The result is increased pressure in the water supply line. In addition, it drastically reduces the hydraulic efficiency of the boiler feed pump. At the same time, the throttle valve experiences wear through cavitation, resulting in the expensive proposition of replacing valves along with a high level of vibration-induced noise. Energy waste, high maintenance costs, and inadequate reliability make discharge throttling a poor choice for modern power plants. Another alternative to throttling is to regulate the flow volume by controlling the pump speed using variable frequency drives or variable speed fluid couplings. However, the high number of parts in a variable frequency drive increases the failure rate and reduces reliability. Controlling pump speed using Foyt hydrodynamic couplings, which feature outstanding energy savings and high reliability, is a significantly more economical solution. The hydrodynamic couplings integrated oil system supplies the bearings of the boiler feed pump and the electric motor with lubricating oil. A separate lube oil supply system is now no longer necessary. The principle of hydrodynamics is based on using oil to transfer the power coming from the motor. There is no mechanical connection between the motor and the driven machine. This ensures a wear-free power transmission. At the same time, the oil serves as a damping medium, filtering out torsional vibrations and torque peaks. This increases the service life of the entire driveline. The pump speed is controlled by the oil fill level in the coupling. This is done using a scoop tube that extends or retracts in order to change the fill level. A 4 to 20 milliampere signal is all that is needed to control it. This makes integrating it into the power plant control system a simple matter.